Google Keep, it's Google's note-taking experience and likely in the future as we're doing this video, it's probably going to get smarter, better and more enhanced with AI. But right now, we're going to give you an idea of whether it's the right note-taking app for you. So welcome, my name is Francesco, I dive into productivity tools, so if you're new here, subscribe to keep productive and if you want to check out more productivity tools as well as Google Keep, you can find it up here and just below as well. So we're going to dive into Google Keep and really outline everything you need to know about this software. Software. So very simply, it's available on iOS, Android, and also has a web version. We're going to demonstrate the web version first and then dive into the iOS version, which is pretty similar to the Android edition too. So as you can see on screen, this is what it looks like. And there's an area for notes and reminders as well as labels as well. Now here, if I want to, I can start giving the note a title. In this case, I could say a review, Google Keep, and uh, I could even add some details of the note below. If I start typing, say just start typing away like that, then it's going to basically save that note. And if I press close, it's going to create that note. And why I call this the post-it notes of the, the web experience or a mobile version of post-it notes is because they come in these little post-it note formats in which you can actually switch colors and more recently switch the ability to have these lovely backdrops in the background. And you can choose to not have them if you don't want to. So you can see why they could be handy for your mobile phone to pop these little notes out. But there's also a layer that these notes are very helpful with. So for example, if you want to set a reminder, you can choose your reminder here. And as you can see, I set this one a very long time ago. So let's just skip ahead to today. And I can set it for tomorrow at 8 a.m. I can also set a repeat. For example, if this shopping list was a weekly one, then I can press save. And you can see that reminder is going to nudge me tomorrow. Now, because I'm using the web version, it won't nudge me. But if I have the iOS version, it should be able to nudge me. And I'll show you how that looks like later. Now, as you can see here, I can do a few other things. Let's click into this it comes up in a full screen mode which is quite nice i can add a collaborator to it so if you've got a partner a friend whoever you want to collaborate on this with maybe your partner maybe my wife for example is a good person to add to it and i can go ahead and add that email and obviously if they've got an account they can start collaborating with me and naturally organize that list with me so that's very helpful you can also add an image archive it and do a few additional things to it so for example in this case if i wanted to add a label to this because I've got a work one let's call it personal and let's go ahead and create it and it's also giving me an indicator that if I use hashtag then it's going to be able to organize that note into the right place for later you can also add drawings they come much better on the mobile version and you can also copy to Google Docs as well there's also a version history to see who made changes especially when you've got collaborators and you can download that specific version if you do want to go backwards now of course you can make a copy and you can do this thing in the top right angle called pinning pinning is helpful because it indicates a separation from the other ones that you're working on. So if I don't pin it, you can see that these sort of drop off, come back, let's pin it just to bring back demonstration sake. Now, if I click into this, there's also an ability. If I press close, sorry, and I go up here and make a new list, it separates it out into lists. So this is perfect for everything. So I could be uh, planning pack list, for holiday, clothes, shoes, uh, baby food. <laughs> and uh, then I can start doing all of the lovely stuff like travel. And you can see here, I can quickly reorganize that and see a lovely image in the background of the pool. Now I created a moment ago, this little tag, this little label, and I'm gonna do this inside of here. I'm gonna type in hashtag personal. And you can see here that it is able to be pinned at the top, but it also organizes it into an area called personal. There's also a work area, which I have no notes available. Win. So this is great for organizing your labels to be like almost like projects, little areas that you want to narrow down the information to. But if you want to edit them, you can go ahead and do that. You could delete those labels and modify the title as well, create some new ones if you want to, and see an archive as well. Now I'm going to show you an additional ability. This is, for example, note to myself. And you can see that if I go into a Google Doc, then what I can do, open up Google Keep on the side. And if I create a note, it's going to create a link between the document I'm working on and the Google Keep, which is very helpful. So for example, if I was like review document, I could add this to my reminders list. And if I go back to Google Keep, if I go to the notes area, you can see that that's just popped up. And if I give this a quick title, like contract, 
information and press enter. And now to go back and press close, just probably needs a second to refresh. Probably will take a second to refresh. <laughs> um, it should do it in a second. Anyway, um, I can also add a reminder to it. So I could say next week, or I could go ahead and uh, get rid of that reminder. And I could add a location reminder, which is very helpful. So if I want to pick a place, I'm just going to block it from getting my location. Say, if I'm in San Francisco, remind me that I need to review this document, which is helpful. So it still doesn't refresh that information, but it will, uh, because that title was changed here. But largely, this is how you go ahead and uh, link it to something like a Google a document, which you could be working on, which is very helpful. But there's other abilities as well. Because this is available on the right hand side, you can see all of my different items coming up here. So on this side, I can see everything that I'm working on and uh, I can naturally go into them and be able to collaborate, take notes from here without leaving the Google experience. So this is very helpful to do when you're working across Google Workspace or just in general across Google. So let me dive over to the phone in a moment, um, but let's just finally show you the settings. The settings enable you to dark add dark mode. You can even change a few different things like adding the new items to the bottom, enabling rich link previews and changing when your reminders are set as well as enable sharing. So let's jump over the phone, show you around what that looks like. So here we are on the likes of Google Keep on iOS. It's very similar to the other Android version. And you can see here on the screen, got a few different things that I can interact with. And this is a different experience that I have with this account here. It won't be the same because obviously I'm showing different things, but you can see all of the regular stuff is coming up. I can send stuff here, which might be more important to sending it to, for example, copying it to Google Keep, adding it to Quick Notes and other stuff like that. Now I can go in the bottom left-hand corner and press recording. Now recording is great for adding a little bit of context to the information that you're adding. I'm just speaking words so that it just be able to capture everything. And you can see that it's automatically transcribing what I'm saying and putting it into Google Keep. So if I press the X in the bottom left-hand corner, it will cancel it. But if I finished speaking, it would have saved it as a recording. Now in the bottom left hand corner, I can also do something called a drawing and you can see that the drawing comes a little bit more interactive and you can say you can do some of the basic drawings and obviously that would be better on a tablet version as well. But you can see how it imports and brings it into your Google Keep account. Now in the top bottom right hand corner, you can create a new one and like I said, all of that other stuff as well. And finally, I wanted to show you, this is, this is how the transcription looks like, just a text version and then the actual audio file. And in the right hand corner, you can add a reminder and you can see information like where is home where is work and I can set a reminder for tomorrow and go and modify it if I want to and obviously that reminder will pop up on my phone if I go in the top right hand corner I can change it to grid and other views as well as see all of the other areas that I've got in my account including just reminders and change all of the stuff that we mentioned up there you can change your Google account up in the top right hand corner as well and that's pretty much up on the desktop version or the mobile version sorry so I hope you enjoyed diving into Google Google Keep with us. Google is currently developing the LM notebook concept in the US right now. So I can imagine Google Keep will be very much different to as like the next six months, I'd say, to what we're covering in this video. But it's a very interesting, lightweight experience and great for those who want post-it notes in your pocket. That's how I market it anyway. Um, but hopefully this overview was helpful and give you a guide to how to use Google Keep for beginners. Please let me know if you have any questions at all. Thank you very much. Make sure to subscribe and Dive over to Toolfinder if you're in hunt for productivity tools. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you can check out another video here on YouTube diving into productivity tools. But if you did want to, you can jump over to Toolfinder to discover any productivity tools, which will be linked here as well. We have a resource of over 250 productivity tools and growing. And naturally, there are reviews, insights, and much more. So do check it out below. But thank you very much for watching this video.